So clearly Valentine's Day is the busiest day of the year for Flora, so how are you managing that? How are your staff finding it? Um, they're absolutely amazing staff. Some of them have been um, with me for a long, long time. Um, we have Eric over here, who started at 13 and he's 20, 21 now. So with people moving away from the tradition of giving just roses on Valentine's Day, what else would you recommend people give? Um, there's absolutely gorgeous mixed bouquets and we have a whole cool store of beautiful mixed coloured roses. We've got beautiful snapdragons, chrysanthemums, oriental lilies, anthuriums, you name it, we've probably got it here. How have you found flower supply this year? Have there been any issues? Okay, there's always issues around Valentine's Day because the sheer number of bouquets that florists need to be making and the people are all coming in at once to buy Valentine's bouquets. This year especially, it's been very, very humid, so they have less supply. And uh, we also have an issue with imported roses would come into the country at this time um, from Colombia and from India. They're just not here, so that's put huge pressure on our flower supply. Let's look back at this horrible last two years we've had and let's say, let's celebrate ourselves and each other. So don't feel that it is just for Valentine's Day. Come in and get something and take it home and enjoy it. Thank you.